Can you use AI to design 3D printable models? A 3D printable model is a little more complex than a 2D image because there's certain design requirements. There are so many different AI models out there, some specifically designed for 3D models, but I'm going to use the most popular one, ChatGPT. However, ChatGPT is not designed for 3D models, but it is designed to code. And you can code 3D designs using OpenSCAD. So in this video, I'm going to see how useful it is to use ChatGPT to create 3D designs using OpenSCAD. Hopefully it's not so useful that our AI overlords are able to 3D design and 3D print their own new technology and take over the world. I think I've heard that story before. Let's jump in. Let's start with what should be a simple task. And that is create a 20 millimeter cube in OpenSCAD. All right, it gives me two different ways to do this. I'm going to copy the code, bring it into OpenSCAD, hit paste and preview. And there we got it. That is correct. That's a 20 millimeter cube. Let's see if we can make a keychain. Create a keychain with the text I love 3D printing on it. Copy that code, delete the code for just the text, hit paste. You can see it's a little more complicated and preview. Hmm, I don't see in the code any text. So let's see if we can make this prompt better. I put the text in quotes now, let's see what happens. Let's copy this code, paste it in. All right, that's better. There are a couple issues here. One, the text goes off the keychain and the hole's not in the right place. But what I want you to notice up here is it's created parameters. These are variables that I can change to control things. Well, I can't control everything I want to here. So I'm going to tell it to give me certain parameters so that I can control the position of the hole, the text and the size of the text. I'm asking it to add parameters so I can control the hole position relative to the top left corner and hole height and the text size and position relative to the center of the keychain. Let's see if it understands that. Copy it, paste, and preview. Okay, so it looks the same. The difference is it added all these new parameters. Whole height right now says thickness, but I wanna make it a little bigger. So I'm gonna say plus one. Text size is 10, that's obviously too big. So I'm gonna change it to five. See what that looks like, that looks better. Now let's see if this really is the top left and what it's defined as the top left. Cause we know the top left is here based on the text, but that doesn't mean that's the top left for chat GPT. Let's say whole X from left is 10. So my guess is this is the left and the whole X from top is 10. So my guess it thinks this is the top. Let's see if that's true by putting this to zero and this to zero and we'll see exactly where it is. So it thinks this is the top left. Not ideal, but it is workable. So let's put it five in and then width minus five, because this would be the width minus five and that should put it at our top left. And there we go. Looks good. I can make the text a little bigger. Let's make it six. See how that looks? And that looks great. So that's pretty cool and pretty neat if you use parameters to sort of create a template because it's not going to create it perfectly and it doesn't understand space well. Let's see how it does with 2D sketches that can be extruded. Create a 2D sketch of a cat and then extrude it in OpenSCAD. Let's do it. What I like about it is it leaves comments to saying this is the body, this is the head, this is the ears, this is the tails. Now notice it didn't create any parameters so let's see what this looks like. Bye bye keychain. Put in its code for the cat and preview it. Oh, I see a cat, except its head is chopped off. Hopefully it's not a subliminal message from our AI overlords. It's roughly okay. Doesn't look great. It would have been much easier and faster for me to just sketch it out in a program. Could I add parameters to control a head position? Sure, but I'm not sure it's worth it. So let's move on to our next task. Let's create a coaster. Create a simple coaster in OpenSCAD. It made some nice parameters for me. Let's copy this code, paste it into OpenSCAD, hit preview. 
All right, not bad, but it has this weird effect. That's just because I hit preview instead of render. If I hit render, it looks great. All right, not too bad, looks pretty plain. It also has this overhang, which for 3D printing is not ideal, but you could deal with it with supports. But in general, it's too plain. Let's make it more interesting. Add a really interesting pattern to this coaster that will go viral on YouTube. So it basically said what to do, but that's too complex, so I can't do it. So I'm gonna create something simpler. It's creating a radial pattern. Let's see what it looks like. Will this go viral? The moment of truth. Oh, that's weak sauce. That's not gonna go viral. There's even holes in it. I'm gonna tell it that was pretty poor. Try again. All right, let's see what this did. Oh, it just added text here that I can change. Viral coaster. That's still weak sauce. Let's try this again. Make a different really cool pattern that would go viral on social media. Oh, and I see some cosine and sine in here. It's very ambitious here. It says that the visual impact of design, especially if presented with high quality images or animations showing light playing across the wave patterns could attract attention on social media platforms. All right, let's see. ChatGPT, you impress me now. What? There's an error in the code. There's an error on the line with four. Keeping it simple, really the problem with this is this is how you do a for loop in JavaScript, but not open scat. So it's a syntax error. Let's see if it fixes it. Yeah, it has the same error. Okay, let me see if I can teach it something. This is the syntax for a for loop in Open SCAD. Can you fix the, the original design? So let's see what this looks like. Wow. So I tried asking a few more times and it finally gave me this. Okay, not bad. Will it go viral? Eh, not so sure. But it's definitely better than the other junk it gave me. Let's print it. I'm gonna print it in multicolors on my Bamboo Lab AMS and see how it comes out. Let's try a few more complicated things. Create a basic box with a lid and open SCAD. So it's giving me parameters, which I really like. Oh, and it's even giving me a tolerance variable. Let's take a look. Let's see what just the box looks like. I'm gonna delete the lid just to see what the box looks like. Not bad. Let's see what the lid looks like. Oh, it's just flat. They're not aligned. I don't think this is even the right size lid. Oh, cause it gave some tolerance, but the tolerance is in the wrong direction. It has a basic concept, but it gets confused visually. I'm gonna classify this as a D. That's my grade on this box with a lid. Next, let's do a boat. Create a basic boat that can float in OpenSCAD. So it's giving me boat parameters again. I like that. It's making a hull. Oh my gosh, it's a cylinder. Wow, chat GPT is not on form today. Let's try that again. Create a 3D boat in OpenSCAD. All right, this is looking better. There's a hull and a deck now. And I say looking better, it means there's more code. Oh, wow. That's pretty bad. That was not a good boat. Create an actual 3D boat in OpenSCAD. Don't worry if it doesn't float. Just 
make it look nice. All right, let's see. Oh my gosh. All right, let's move on from the boat because that definitely does not float my boat. And that's not even worth using as a template. There was one more thing I wanted to try. Create a phone stand for my iPhone X. Let's see. Preview. Well, this is interesting. It looks like this is supposed to be the base and this is supposed to be the back. Let's check that. I'm gonna delete the back support here temporarily and preview. Yep. So it seems like ChatGPT has trouble lining things up and positioning them right. Because even if this was correct, it really wouldn't work as a phone stand. It does have some variables here. I wonder if this angle actually works. So I'm gonna do 10, see if it's a lot flatter. That worked. And it's actually more lined up, which is interesting. However, honestly, it'd be a lot faster to sketch this out in CAD than deal with the parameters anyway. As you can see, I would not recommend ChatGPT to create your own 3D printable design. It is much more worth your time learning some CAD software. And I have some videos and courses about that that I'll link in the description below. However, are there specific cases? Sure. The keychain template with parameters, that was pretty cool. And what about that viral coaster? Didn't look half bad. I actually printed it out and this is what it looks like. Do you think it's worth going viral though? Well, to be safe, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video so we can appease our AI overlords. Until next time, take the time to learn and create every day.